Australian snake catchers here at Marylands got a uh, python that decided to tickle up a couple of budgies, I think. So we're gonna we're about to find out. Oh, there he goes that that one's still alive. Where is he? Down the back. He's on the top shelf. On the top shelf. Look at the top shelf victim. Potentially. Well, the other ones in the bottom look happy enough. Let me put that there. Dad, you want us to move the umbrella? No, no, that's fine. Here you go, mate. You're uh, upsetting the birds, bro. Uh, okay, well, this is a pretty straightforward open and shut job, isn't it? Or? I don't want to let the birds out. Yeah, the no, they'll stay open. usually so they never... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got you, that. You, you okay. That, um, I might give you that. And you can get my best angle. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, fellas, stay in there, okay? I'll get your visitor out. No, just sit, just sit. It'll just come forward. Oh, come, oh I see. G'day, mate. Yeah, you don't like me very much, do you? or a jag, they call them, mm. like a jungle python. Somebody's pet. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. That's what I said to my wife. Oh, mate. Your pet. Oh, mate's in there. Yeah, the bird, the budgies. And I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, not coming out. No, that's for sure. But if I, if I handle it too much, it'll regurgitate it, and then it's kind of defeats the purpose all around. Oh, okay. Mate, it's not your fault, is it? you got to go in here. Stop harassing the people and the birds, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Not for the birds. <laughs> but for you, it's good. I can get rid of these. So, 